Hello all, this is Halloween. And if you love Halloween and costumes as much as I do, you may want to subscribe because I'm going to be showing you how to make some awesome costumes without breaking the bank, maybe even using some items you already have at home. In today's episode, we will be recreating the Jeff Dunham puppet, Peanut. This will be our final costume of the Halloween year, starting again at the end of December, and we're gonna go out with a bang. Let's go ahead and get started. Here we have our Peanut costume. Not yet created, but we're going to work on that. So I have this very furry, kind of an off-white, ecru, you know, cream colored material, whatever you want to call it. And I've gone ahead and drawn out a pattern with my stepmom to create it. All I've got to do now is cut and sew, but I will show you how we did that. I've got some light purple tights, and that's going to uh, save some of your makeup so that you don't have to paint your legs because we're going to be painting our forearms for this one, all of our head and face and neck. So this will just save you some time. I've got some purple fleece. We're going to be making the chest piece and belly out of, and also the toes. <laughs> One of his toes is cut out, so we're going to be cutting uh, the toes out of these shoes, just one of them, and making purple toes that kind of stick out. And of course, you probably recognize these shoes. We use these for the California Raisin. So I will be reusing them for this costume. I've got some green feathers for his little his little hair up top, his little ponytail or whatever it is up top. You want to get yourself a good bald cap. I have the Mayron bald cap complete kit. I bought two of these this year. They are $35 a piece. You can get that, or the only one I would recommend would be the Wuchi bald cap. So far, Spirit Halloween might have a good product. I have not taken it out of the package to check yet. You're gonna need plenty of the Crayola Model Magic. That's what you're gonna need. I'm gonna be sewing this, so needle and thread, maybe some hot glue, and that's gonna be it. Let's go ahead and get started. I will show you progress shots as we go. peanut costume with the shoe it is the left foot I hot glued some toes onto my pantyhose and there's our little wig <laughs> let's go ahead and get started with our makeup this makeup is going to be so wild 
So brace yourselves. This is the final costume of kind of the final costume of the year for me. I uh, give myself the month of November off because I need it. I really need it by the end of the year. So I take November off for holidays and family and you know, and really December, the third week of December, I'll have another costume out for you and it's gonna be a decade. So I do decade costumes in December. So you'll have that out. Believe it or not, I have been thinking on this costume. You know, it may not look like it, but I've been thinking about how I wanted to do the makeup for this costume. If you've watched any of my previous videos, I've mentioned quite a few times that I don't wear masks. I don't like them. If I do wear a mask, it's just gonna be a part of a mask. I'm gonna cut off a part that I need or whatever and glue it to my face because I do not like wearing masks. So it kind of makes this makeup a little bit on the difficult side. I've got this awesome, what in the world is that? What is that? I've got this awesome latex bald cap from Mehran. This is actually from the bald kit that comes with so much other really cool stuff, $35. If you don't have that, I recommend the Wuchi bald cap. I think Spirit might have a pretty good product, but like I said, haven't tried it. So I'm just getting this bald cap on, and for this, I'm actually going over my ears, because I've made ears with Crayola Model Magic. I've also made <laughs> eyeballs. <laughs> So when I say it's gonna get wild, it's gonna get wild. This particular costume, it's gonna be crazy. So all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go off camera and I'm gonna glue this on. When you do your bald caps, any cutting you wanna do, you have to do it while it's on your head. Do not try to cut ears out of your bald cap, then put your bald cap on because the latex will split and you will not be able to fix it. So any modifications must be done while the piece is on your head so i'm gonna hop off here for a second and get this secured down see you in a minute all right it's pretty much glued down all it's gonna be because i'm not really going out i'm just doing this for here and uh it's a lot <laughs> so you're gonna need quite a bit of crayola model magic i have two packages here of white crayola Ma model magic and one package of red somewhere. One package of red. I did not, they had a purple lavender or whatever, but it just seemed really dark. So I didn't get that. I just got white, we'll paint it, no big deal. <laughs> we do that all the time. So you see what I mean with the cat hair? I don't know if you can see that on here. I got a little bit of spirit gum on my hands when, when I was gluing down. It might be from the costume also. That costume is hairy and that fur is no joke. When you cut it, it sheds like crazy. So that could be from the costume. It probably is from the costume as a matter of fact. Anyway, so we're just taking our model magic. We're gonna form cheeks. We gotta form our bit wider nose. And some of these pieces are actually just gonna be hot glued to each other. I'm trying to do this in the most timely fashion as possible, because we're supposed to go eat at a food truck. And my husband's hangry, or he's getting hangry, so I've gotta pedal to the metal. <laughs> so I'm just forming cheeks. You know, he's got kind of some big cheeks. Now, I'm not gonna make these crazy big because I kind of have big cheeks myself. I don't wanna look like a chipmunk. I just wanna, so I'm just forming it with my hands how I want it to look. And I'm gonna try and make those edge pieces as thin as possible. I know you can see this hair all over me. Now, they do make peanut costumes, I saw. Um, there's peanut, there's an actual peanut costume. It's okay. But making that costume, if I'm being honest with you, it was so easy. It was so freaking easy to make. And it looks authentic. It looks really good. I was really impressed with how easy it was to make this costume. 
Now, the material is not cheap because it's a furry material, so it's kind of like a specialty material. So it's kind of pricey. You know, pay quite a bit for that, but I tried to get it when it was on sale. Material's never cheap. I mean, even when it's on sale, it's not usually cheap. What I want to do is kind of make a big cheek that kind of goes right in. This is going to be so wild. I hope it looks good. I kind of don't really know how this is going to turn out. This is the first time I've ever done this costume. I just saw Peanut and I'm like, wow, you know, that'd be kind of a cool costume. But it's, it's a lot. Making the costume was the easy part. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and put my spirit gum on this piece I just made. And then I'm going to try and create another piece that looks just like it. And for my makeup, I just have the Mehran Paradise. It's the aqua activated makeup that Mehran has in purple. And their purple is kind of a lavender. So I may have to put a little white to highlight on that because it's a little bit dark, but it's the lighter one I had, so. Now for my eyes, <laughs> I made these little eyes, right? So they're kind of coming right off of his nose. You're really gonna want a lot of spirit gum when you're using the Crayola Model Magic because you're putting pieces on your face. You don't want them to fall off, you know? And unlike a foam latex piece, I mean, this stuff really wasn't made for this. So, I mean, as lightweight as it is, and easy to use as it is, it's, this was not its purpose. <laughs> so you wanna just make sure your pieces stay on. And in order to do that, you're gonna need a liberal amount of spirit gum and ease it. So that's all I did. And this clay is still wet. As you can see, I just formed it. I'm not waiting for it to dry. I don't, I put it on wet and it's fine. Now we're gonna have our big lips. <laughs> which I'm gonna make out of the red. This will be the most Crayola Model Magic I've ever had on my face, for sure. So it'll be interesting to see how it all turns out. I think it'll be good, I think it'll be all right. I gotta have a positive attitude. <laughs> Wait till we're purple. For some reason, the men in my family, like my dad and my husband, looked at pictures of Peanut and thought he was pink. I'm like, are, are men just colorblind? Because that's clearly purple. <laughs> I think a lot of them are actually colorblind. I'm just going by what they wear. <laughs> the cheeks are on. I'm not real concerned with the inside of them. A lot of it will be covered up by the lips. And I may just hot glue some of that stuff on. Because you can hot glue the Crayola Model Magic to the Crayola Model Magic, you know? We wouldn't necessarily be hot gluing to our face. It would be just hot glued to the Model Magic, so. I don't know yet. Like I said, this is the first time for me doing this costume. You can definitely check it as easy, though. It's an easy one. Unless you think, like, doing the Model Magic is hard, but at this point we've done it so much that it's getting easier and easier. Creating the nose. He's got a very wide nose. So I'm using my, my nose to shape the clay. His nose is kind of flat though. So I've taken it and shaped it like my nose. Now I'm gonna take it into my hands and just form it. You know, form it with my hands. There's not a whole lot of shape to his nose. It's just kind of flat and wide. So, how many Jeff Dunham fans do we have out there? I think I'm gonna do a playlist of puppets because I'm gonna be doing more puppets. I've already done some puppets and there's a lot you can do <laughs> for sure, puppets and stuff. So I really want it to be kind of flat. People wanted to see more of the Model Magic earlier this year and I've really been trying. Uh, <laughs> to show you more of what I'm doing because I mean it's really easy you're just kind of forming it 
Just like if you were, you took modeling clay and you were trying to make anything else out of it. Only you're shaping it to your face. You definitely want to put it on your face to get the right sort of measurement. Make sure it fits your face. I'm just going to shape this a little more. I'm going to bring the nostrils around a little bit. I sized it down a bit. <laughs> it was a little too obnoxiously big. So there's not really any particular way to do the model magic. You just put it on your face, sculpt it as you wish, and that's it. Make sure you have a lot of spirit gum. I mean, those are the main things. So when I do my eyes, they're just going to sit on my nose. I'm going to hot glue them on. They're gonna go right about here. So, right on the, right on the nose. Right close together, just like his. All right, I've got my liquid latex. I'm gonna go ahead and start trying to blend what we've got here so far. The liquid latex stinks. I hate the smell of liquid latex. <laughs> it smells fishy, it's gross. And when you get the, liquid, the foam latex pieces, it smells just like liquid latex. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm just taking this liquid latex and blending what I have so far. As I'm breaking from the pieces, sort of just to let them dry, I'm gonna start go ahead and painting my face with this brilliant lavender color here. My face and my head. I'm gonna start doing that. You could do just like green contact lenses and use your own eyes. It doesn't have to be like this. So this is a little crazy, but I figured, hey, it's kind of like the end of the Halloween year. Let's just go out with a bang. I wanted to kind of put my, <laughs> my little hair piece on. This is gonna be so funny. If it's nothing but funny, it'll be successful. It's just gonna be ridiculous. So that's what I'm doing now. Just while I'm waiting for my latex to dry, I'm just purpling myself. I've got my little hair piece, and all I'm gonna do is got the little um, Crayola Model Magic there. I'm just gonna put some spirit gum adhesive on there. Quite a bit now. People are stupid during Halloween. If you're going out and you're gonna have pieces like this, they'll try to grab it, snatch it off. I got tired of that too. When I was competing, People would just do stupid stuff, try to rip your costume up. So make sure you have it glued on pretty good. Plus if it's windy where you are, you know, just all kinds of reasons. Just make it, glue it on real good, you know? <laughs> that is wild. I told you it was gonna be wild. I told you. So, see it tipped over. Sharpie. There's the eye. <laughs> oh my gosh, this fur stuff from the costume is gonna get all over you. <laughs> it's gonna be everywhere. So if you're wearing contacts, make sure your uh, hands are good and clean before you put your contacts in because it's just, it's all over. It sheds so much. And I'm going to wipe it on my pants and my pants are all furry from working on the costume today. I use Sharpie sometimes when I got a lot of makeup on. It's easy. Sharpie's easy. So, and it'll stay on all night. <laughs> I have no shame. I will use a Sharpie. There's no doubt about that. All right, get a little more liquid latex going. You're gonna need a fair amount of liquid latex. Now I've got a small bottle here, but I've got a lot of liquid latex. I've got this bottle, I've got another bottle in a large bottle. <laughs> it's something you'll just need if you're doing a lot of prosthetic pieces on your face. You'll need that in your Halloween arsenal. I got my ears here that I made. I am going to hot glue them to my liquid latex on my face on each side of the cheeks. See if there's cheek here. That's the Crayola Model Magic and I'm gonna hot glue them on. Now we gotta make our mouth. Just took the model magic and I just made like a little. Remember 
remember back in the day when you would be uh, playing with Play-Doh and making all kinds of stuff? That's all we're doing. You're just making stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna paint under here now that my latex has dried I'm gonna paint all around if you can get a cream makeup I would recommend um, when you're doing these pieces and you're using liquid latex get using a cream and uh, an aqua or getting a liquid paint I just got my first bottle. It's like this size of Mehron liquid uh, body paint. And I haven't tried it yet. Something like that uh, would work well too, probably. My husband's getting a kick out of this one, let me tell you. It's pretty hilarious walking around the house. <laughs> Ain't it something? This is crazy. Seriously, this is insane. <laughs> yes, I am clinically insane. Um, true story. Alright, so. <laughs> this is crazy. I hope you all are enjoying this. For a finale here. Got this dead gum hair all over me. It is driving me crazy. It's going to drive you crazy too. You just wait. You do this costume, and you get that hairy material. Oh my gosh. I got a little too crazy here. That's not my eyebrows. You know, I was thinking, I may not do the mesh over my eyes because I could just close my eyes to give the effect. My eyes probably won't show that much, to be honest with you, because these, these are kind of going to be blocking my eyes a little bit but you'll still be able to kind of see your peripheral vision like I said you don't have to do it like this this is me being crazy again you're gonna have to learn how to weed out the craziness because <laughs> I mean it gets wild I don't care if I can breathe see <laughs> in some of these costumes like I don't care as long as it looks good true story just wild. Let's get these lips on, girl. Alright. Again, you're a lot of latex or a lot of spirit gum. I'm gonna put this piece like right on my lip. I want it right on my lip. Oh my god. This is the craziest I've ever gotten with the um with the model magic. I'm not even done yet. <laughs> Let's put on this bottom lip. <laughs> this is crazy. I went a little thick with my upper lip. <laughs> Go a little thin. Uh, it'll be easier for you. Just as far as the width of the putty. I just took my liquid uh, liner and went in the corners with the liquid liner and now I'm going to paint my tongue pink and now and my own teeth will show if I smile big enough <laughs> so I actually don't think I need to do the teeth but I am gonna glue my eyes on I'm going to purple my hands and put my costume on, and I'll be ready. GoPro, stop recording. All dressed up, ready for photos. joining me again today. I hope you love today's look. 
you can make your lip a little bit thinner and you won't have the interference as much. I got a little crazy and made it really fat. <laughs> That'll help with that. This does it for the costumes for this year. I will be starting back up again in December. <laughs> Have a happy Halloween. Please be safe. Don't drink and drive. And I'll see you next time. Happy Halloween!